Hello everyone, this is Steven Lotus, and this is my follow-up video to my walkthrough slash tutorial video that I did a month ago, actually. So, yeah, here is the fix, here's the fix screen. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who helped me out by donating and supporting and giving me positive feedback, too. Thanks a lot, because uh, without you guys, I, I wouldn't be able to get my phone uh, fixed. I wouldn't be able to get, get this uh, the screen replaced. And actually, I did it myself, so I'm proud of that. Uh, so now I have the knowledge to uh, repair, repair another one plus one, or a few, or a dozen, or any other phone, I think. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate you guys helping me out and giving me positive feedback and just and donating to me again, man. I really, I really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. Uh, so let's get to this, this follow-up video. Uh, so here are uh, some issues that I have with it. I did mention uh, some things in the, in the last minute or so of, of my tutorial video, uh, but this is uh, everything laid out here. No uh, capacitive keys, they don't light up. The screen had a yellowish slash kind of pale tint to it. Uh, also, there's a line that runs down the, like the side here, a very kind of like light line. Uh, you can't really see it right here. Also, uh, it, the screen creaks down here at the bottom. That's really bad and the reason why that happens actually, if you can hear that, Yeah, the reason why that happens, or that happened, was because I didn't put adhesive around the edges. I didn't have adhesive at the time, and uh, yeah, I thought, hey, maybe it could work with the uh, leftover adhesive that was in there. And well, that was true for the top part and the side here, uh, because this doesn't creak. This just kind of shifts a little bit, but not as bad as this side. It's really bad, especially when I'm using the capacitive keys. The capacitive keys still work. It's just it creaks and it shifts and it really bothers me. Uh, but I think I have these keys on uh, maximum brightness right now, uh, but they do not. The, the, the lights don't come on. That's not really an issue. R really it's not. I think it looks cool this way. Uh, see? See, backlight is on, and it's at 100%. So, yeah, and nothing. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to the on-screen keys. After about two and a half weeks or so, the colors started to come back, uh, back to normal. So I'd say about the color's about 90, 95% normal again, uh, as compared to my original display. Um, so yeah, the grays are, are now gray and the purple or the blues aren't purple anymore and the reds aren't pink anymore. Uh, I mean for the most part, but there's still sort of kind of like a pale kind of tint over it. Uh, like the contrast might be off slightly, sort of. Um, but when I take it to all, uh, not ultimate brightness, but full brightness, uh, is, so let's see, let's show you that this is full. Yep, it is 100% brightness, and the colors get really saturated, like oversaturated, and the colors, they kind of, they change a little bit. See, like, it kind of looks, well, let's see, yeah, that doesn't look, sort of kind of look looks a little green here, when it's supposed to be just straight up gray. Yeah, it looks, it, sometimes it looks like uh, Microsoft Paint. Like, it just makes the screen look like it was made on Microsoft Paint. And I don't really dig that. I can never keep it right here on uh, on full brightness, but I keep it on automatic. So it looks fine on automatic. Uh, I mean, I can definitely live with it. And let me show you this line here that goes on the side of the screen. Let me actually turn it. Let me turn it here. Turn this up and turn the internet off so you can see this clearly. Okay, this is this is flicker. I'm gonna click on something, and usually you can see this on a gray background. And turn this light off. As you can see, you can see it immediately. See that? 
wham, goes from here all the way over here. And, oops, oh darn. All right, see, and I can rotate the screen and see it's, it's still there. It's definitely still there, so I don't know why that is. I don't know what the heck happened, uh, but I noticed that actually about a week ago or so. So, yeah, but all these things I can, I can live with, definitely. Oh, you know what? I forgot to mention something very important. Hold on. Get a case. Get a case. Get a case. Don't just say, oh, I'll get a tempered glass screen protector and I'll be fine. No. No. No, no, no. No. <laughs> no. A tempered glass screen protector is meant for scratches, to prevent from scratches, not to act as a case. I don't know why some people think that. It's not going to be a case. If you drop your phone on the corner or on the sides, I mean, it's most likely going to crack. Uh, the only way it's not going to crack is if you have a lucky fall and the energy is displaced in like a spin or if it bounces or something, you know, if it's not concentrated into the screen. My tempered glass screen protector cracked. It snapped. So it snapped into pieces and that really upset me, but uh, yeah, it did not save my screen. That's why I had to go through all of this and it's because I didn't have my case on. I just, I literally, like the second I took my case off. Uh, so yeah, it broke. But please get a case. Don't 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 mess around it and not have this case on. I recommend Distronic because it's because their cases are thin, light, and they don't take away from the profile and the handling of the phone. It's ten dollars on Amazon. I think ten dollars on the website too for this one. And I don't know how much the TPU Ultra is. Probably like fifteen. I don't know, something around that price range. But yeah, please get a case. <laughs> please get a case. Don't just rely on the tempered glass screen protector. Those are for scratches. Explosion proof, eh, those are that, those are buzzwords. I mean, you know, maybe knock, knock up against it like this, you know, and uh, have a direct impact. But other than that, um, no. Side impacts, corner impacts, come on now. Seriously, you really think a thin layer of glass is going to protect another thin layer, layer of grass from breaking? Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. Um, anyway, that is my video. So, yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching. And uh, have a good night or good day or whatever. I don't know what you're doing with your life, but you just watched my video, so I really appreciate you. And thanks again to those who donated and everybody who gives me good feedback. Uh, anyway, I'll make a new video soon about something, I guess. Maybe the next update we get. So, anyway, peace.